what makes a good piece of quantitative research. First of all, we will talk on what makes a good piece of quantitative research. Good quantitative research should be valid and reliable. Quality research results can be generalized beyond sample to wider population. First quality measure of quantitative research is reliability. It refers to producing same results when same measures are administered by different researcher in different times on different population groups. It is important because quantitative researchers are interested in generalizations. Therefore, it should be ensured that their tools must not be influenced by different researchers and population groups. For example, measure the temperature of a hot water several times under same conditions. If the thermometer measures the same results, your results are reliable. There are different types of reliability measures, test retest, integrator, and internal consistency. Test retest, the consistency of measure over time. For example, some students fill the questionnaire about emotional intelligence. If the similar group repeat the questionnaire after weeks, months, or so, and the results are same, this indicates high test retest reliability. The Cronbach Alpha is used to measure the internal consistency of the item. If the alpha value is 0 0.70 or higher, the instrument is considered reliable. The next is Interrater, the consistency over researchers. For example, based on the similar criteria, these researchers produce the same results this indicates high interrater consistency. Then there is internal consistency. The consistency of the tool itself. For example, you designed a questionnaire to measure privacy concerns. And randomly you split the questionnaire into two halves. There should be strong correlation between these two halves. The next measure of quality is validity. It refers to whether a measure accurately captures the reality. For example, you designed a questionnaire to measure distress. Is it actually measuring distress? There are three common and essential types of validity. The first is construct validity. It is mainly concerned that whether the tool measures the same as it aims to measure and are the results generalizable. Internal validity refers to the effect caused by a variable under study or not, or there are factors influencing change. In addition, external validity is concerned whether the results are generalizable to the wider population or not. The last quality measure of quantitative research is generalizability. For example, voices of British women about women empowerment are accurately captured and represent the opinions of whole population group. If 70% of the sample is emotionally intelligent, 70% of the populations assume to be emotionally intelligent. Now I will talk on what makes a good piece of qualitative research. Qualitative researchers develop the quality criteria suitable for qualitative research. The first is member checking, the second is triangulation, and the third is transferability. Member checking refers to getting feedback from your participants or respondents. Researcher can take back the piece of analysis or written report to some or all members to check authenticity or trustworthiness of the analysis or write-up. Member checking is important to establish the credibility and quality of the analysis. Triangulation involves two or more data collection sources to examine the same phenomenon. For example, interviews, observation, pictures, documents, with the aim of getting almost similar results. The third and the last criterion is transferability. It refers to the extent to which qualitative results can be transferred to the other people or similar context. To ensure this, the researcher has to describe the context, participants, settings, and circumstances of the study in detail so that the reader can better judge are the results safe to transfer or not. Thank you.